Hello all, welcome you all again to Bharavase the Hope for Computer Exams. Today, let's discuss about the Hamas and Israel war, what actually led to the Hamas and Israel war, what is the history behind it and what is the impact on India because of Israel and Hamas war. Let's discuss it and before going to the discussion, let me show you the map of Israel and various geographical areas that we will be uh, you know, pondering upon uh, in the video. So let's look into the uh, map of the Israel now. Friends, this is the map of Israel that is shown in the figure. So Israel, Israel is a part of a West Asian country. Though it belongs to the Asian continent, uh, it is placed in the western part of Asia. <coughs> so, here uh, in the Israel uh, map, you can see here the Gaza Strip. Presently, the Hamas who are uh, located here, uh, this, is, this uh, Gaza Strip belongs to the Palestinians. And remember that Palestinians, they are not only uh, located in the Gaza Strip, but they are also distributed in West Bank as well. So this is a region known as the West Bank. Uh, here both Palestinians as well as the uh, Israeli occupants are uh, living. And here you can see the Golan Heights. Golan Heights is a hilly region uh, which is uh, uh, located between uh, Israel and uh, Syria. And also here you can see the Dead Sea. Uh, which is located between uh, Israel and uh, Jordan <coughs> and here a uh, Jordan river which forms boundary between uh, Israel and uh, Jordan <coughs> and also uh, remember the countries that are bordering uh, Israel those are Egypt, Jordan and uh, Syria as well as uh, Lebanon and also remember that is uh, the Israel is also bordered by the Mediterranean Sea. So this is all about the geography of uh, Israel. Now let's get into the uh, history of the Israel and the Palestinian conflict. Friends, this conflict between the Hamas and Israel, this began in the year uh, 1967 that led to the Six Day War. This Six Day War between the Israel and the Palestinians led to Israel occupying the Palestinian region in the Gaza Strip. So, uh, when Israel occupied the Gaza Strip where Palestinians were living, this led to the uh, uh, Palestinian uprising in the year 1987. So, this Palestinian up uprising in the year 1987, this lasted for almost uh, 5 years and it ended with the Oslo Accords where in, uh, in this Oslo Accords there was, a, uh, there was an uh, attempt to establish peace between Israel and uh, Palestinians and this led to uh, the formation of uh, Palestinian, Palestinian National Authority along and also the West Bank was uh, divided into the three administrative zones. This West Bank uh, is presently divided among uh, Palestinians as well as uh, Israelites. So, uh, later in the year uh, 2000, 2000 uh, there was again a peace talk that was called as uh, Camp David Summit and this was a, a failure attempt to establish the peace and this was followed by the Shermil Sheikh uh, Summit in the year 2005. So, after this 2005 summit, uh, summit it led uh, uh, Israel to withdraw from the Palestinian uh, region in the Gaza Strip. So later, uh, in the year 2006, Hamas, Hamas is a militant group with, uh, and is a part of uh, Palestine. So these Hamas won the Palestinian uh, Legislative Council in the year 2006 and they rejected Israel-Palestine agreement that, ha that happened uh, in the year 2005. So when these uh, Hamas, they rejected the uh, peace agreement between uh, Israel and Palestine that led Israel uh, to blockade the Gaza Strip behind. Israel took harsh actions by restricting the trade with the 
Palestinians as well as the movement of uh, people uh, from Israel uh, to Palestine as well as from Palestine to Israel. So all these uh, events that led to a huge impact on uh, Palestinians uh, which led to the in, uh, reduction in, in the real GDP of uh, Palestine by about 30 percent and uh, by the year 2015 there was an increase in uh, unemployment rate by 45 percent among uh, Palestinians and also by 2023 uh, the below poverty line population of uh, Palestinians has uh, increased to around uh, 81 per percent. So using all these uh, negative impacts on uh, Palestinians, these Hamas, they radicalized the, the youth of uh, Palestinians and they, uh, you know, uh, uh, they influenced the youth to carry the violence against uh, Israel and they also propagated that uh, violence is the only solution you know, to get the Palestinian rights. So this is the overall background that actually led to the present Hamas and Israel war that is happening since October 7. So, and uh, let's let's see uh, what is the impact of this uh, Israel and Hamas war on India. So, uh, since uh, Israel is a part of uh, West Asia, and we all know that uh, West Asian countries, especially the Iran, Saudi Arabia, Iraq. They, these are the countries which are major suppliers of oil. So since the uh, no, West Asian uh, region is uh, disturbed due to war, this will lead to reduction in the oil supply from the West Asia. When there is a reduction in the supply, it will lead to the increase in prices of the oil. So when there is increase in the price of oil, it will lead to the increase in the import bill for uh, India and also it will lead to the uh, no, uh, disturbance in the rupee stability. So this will lead to the rupee depreciation compared to the US dollars. So again, uh, because of increase in oil price, price, it will lead to the inflation pressure uh, in India where the customers will have to uh, pay more rupees to buy the oil. And also, when people have to spend more on purchasing oil, their expenditure on non-energy goods will also reduce. So, and also this will lead to high fiscal deficit on the government uh, budget. Uh, because since government uh, gives subsidy on uh, oil as well as uh, LPG, uh, when there is increase in the oil prices, there is also you know increase in the uh, subsidy by the government. So this will lead to the increase in the fiscal deficit uh, by the government. So and also the next impact is uh, it will lead to the you know uh, suffering for the Indian diaspora who are living in the West Asian region. So according to an estimate there are around 18,000 Indians who are uh, living in uh, Israel and they are uh, into various occupations such as uh, care worker, they are in uh, diamond uh, mining working as well as uh, uh, they are uh, uh, no, they are there for uh, studies as well as they are doing household works. So these are all the various concerns or issues for India which we need to be worried. And uh, our Indian diaspora was uh, evacuated and the uh, mission was named as uh, Operation Ajay. So this is all about the uh, Israel and uh, Hamas war, what was the background for it and what is its impact on India. Thank you all.